Good news, my lovely, wonderful people. The cat is out of the bag. As I said, they hide the cat since they don't get where they go, but the cat don't come outside from the bag. It don't jump out. The cat don't come outside. The cat don't come outside from the bag. Where? Our brother on Philip Shwaibo, he don't finally tell everybody, say, we well, see, he won't become governor. And in doing that, I sense and I saw betrayer. Philip Shwaibo now don't come outside. He come out through the north, northern part of the state, Edo state. And uh, uh, the traditional rulers now don't announce and say, we well, say, Philip Shwaibo is our choice. Edo 2024, Philip Shwaibo is our choice. North traditional rulers root for Felix Raibu. No wonder he do the dissociate from uh, Obaseki because he does say and say, we say, uh, Oshomole na the way forward. What do I mean by that? Oshomole guy na be president, Bola met in Obo, and uh, he get to show, say, you know, say, like, yeah, the say, ah, I do not be Lagos. So they won't be careful. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Edo 2024, Felix Shwaibu is our choice. North traditional leaders reveal. Traditional rulers from Edo North Sanitaria District on Saturday declared that they would be supporting the current deputy governor of the state, Comrade Felix Shwaibu, for the 2024 governorship race in the state. The traditional ruler hinted and hinged their decision on the claim that Felix Shwaibu, who hails from the district, had already informed them that he would be running to occupy the, the state governorship seat and when it start heating up. The donor traditional rulers disclosed this in response to their counterpart from Edo Central Sanitaria District who came calling to, sol to solicit for support for Edo North Royal Family to support the Edo Central candidate come 2024. Traditional rulers from Edo Central have been in vanguard for a governor from the district since both Edo North and Edo South Sanitaria District have governed the state for two tenure each since the beginning of the current democratic dispensation in 1999. Why Edo South has ruled the state for four years Tenor, with Governor Lockheed Benedio governing the state from 1999 to 2007, which is eight years, and the incumbent governor, Godwin Obaseki, who, was, who, who is completing his second tenor in November, in November 2024, the Edo North has two tenor shots at the governorship under comrade Adams Oshomole. Why Governor Ibenedio was in the saddle, he picked his deputy, Chief Mike, from Edo North, just as Comrade Oshomole from Edo North had Dr. Pius from Edo South as his deputy for the two tenor he was in office as the governor of the state. In the quest for the Edo Central Sanitaria District to produce the next governor of the state, consultations have been embarked on by well-meaning personalities, including traditional rulers from the district, who argued that it would be proper just to, just for equality and for the next governor of the state to emerge from the district. This strategic planning and mobilization with the people hope of the building and affirming alliance to gain support for their cause recently has led to the visit of traditional rulers from the Edo Central to the Edo South Sanitaria District with a call at the palace to, to at the palace of the, of the Oba of Benin to support their candidates. On Saturday, the Edo Central team, led by Ogoni of Oromi, His Royal Highness Absalom, and other delegations of traditional rulers met with the traditional ruler from Edo North to discuss the upcoming governorship election and the candidate vying for the governorship position and solicit for support for the governor of Esa, Edo Central region. Responding, however, to the request of the Edo Central traditional rulers, the Olopo, His Royal Highness Oba Idogu III, had, on behalf of the traditional rulers of Edo North, thanked their counterpart from Edo Central, but informed them that their son, Philip Shaibu, who is currently the deputy governor, had already informed them that he was interested in joining the governorship race, slated for next year, adding that their support would be for their son, 
who is also in the race to become a do state governor. Since his interest to become a do state governor, Philip Shaibu has turned a different man. He is trying all way possible to distance himself from Adams Osho, from Governor Godwin Obaseki. In a recent appointment and inauguration done by Governor Godwin Obaseki, Philip Shaibu was conspicuously absent, and right now his association and all he's doing is to associate with with the current senator representing one of the senatorial districts, um, Comrade Adams Ushomole. This young man who has served with Obaseki and has called Ushomole all kinds of names have turned now in the other direction. And right now he's supporting and he wants the full support of Adams Ushomole. And so politicians will always remain politicians this is what is happening this is causing a bit of tension because those from the edo central wants their their son or someone from their part to also have a a taste you know you can hear now that they're saying edo north and edo south have already had you know a turn in the governorship position and they've had it for two two tenor each but the edo central has not had a single tenor and so they will want things to be done. They want to have, you know, they also want to have an equal position so that everybody feels part of it and carried along. So this is part of what is happening. And every single person is beginning to rise and, um, you know, give their opinion in terms of what they think and what they see and how things are going. However, um, it has not become the same, the same. It's not the same thing in terms of, uh, you know, uh, everybody coming up. Okay. You know, in terms of everything coming up, and we are now saying, you know, uh, that Philip Shwaibu is really a man of many colors. Okay, he is really a man of many colors because you can see, you can see that, um, you know, what we thought who he was is actually changing. We thought he was somebody else, but gradually, the guy has really changed, and that's why they say you don't know a man until he's pressed. You know, you see the orange, when you see the skin, you think you've known it all. But truly, sincerely speaking, you don't know it all until the orange is squeezed with pressure. Then what comes out is the orange, the juice left. So these are parts of what are going on right now. Please don't forget, every single one of us are important. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.